friends, welcome back to my channel. Sass here. I'm here to do another review of 90 Day Fiance The Other Way. I think we got one more episode left, child. Are they going to do a reunion? Because we got one more episode left, and then we got the new season of 90 Day Fiance. So I'm ready for that new season, child, because one of the participants is from Dinwiddie, Virginia. Y'all, I got a story about Dinwiddie. <laughs> so I'm here for it. But until then, let's wrap this season up. Because, honey, this season been long. It's been long. Okay? Now, before I get started, okay, I will not be talking about Tim and May Lisa. Y'all, I'm not going to do it. See, I can let it go. See, they can't let it go. So I'm going to let it go for them. All right? Tim, he done went down there, couldn't get a job. They can't trust each other. They can't let it go. They can't let go of the cheating. So he's on his way home. On my way home. Oh, on my way home. See, he should have did that a long time ago. So, bye, Tim. And many, many blessings to you. Okay? So, whatever. It was tears. It was crying, not flying. If y'all want to discuss Tim and May Lisa, we can discuss it in the comments. But I'm not going to be talking about them. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right, let's talk about R&B Child. <laughs> now, YouTube circulating B's Benjamin's wedding uh, video child to his first wife. Now, see, one of the sasters. What y'all think about that name? Sasters. Okay. One of the sasters hit me up and said, have you seen that wedding video? I was like, what? It was Tiffany C. So, good looking out. Y'all, y'all be investigating all kinds of things. Y'all be finding things. Y'all be sending them to me. Okay, okay, okay. So, I moseyed on over to YouTube and I looked at this wedding video of his first wife. First of all, that wedding was beautiful. It was beautiful. They look happy, healthy, and love. She's also, I do believe, a dancer. Okay? And honey, this was in 2017. That is when that video went up. 2017, was that when they got married? It is now 2020. So you mean in the span of three years. Benjamin met up with um all, then had a baby. And can I just say this? Another one of the sasters dropped me some tea, and apparently they had a photo shoot with People Magazine. I think it was People Magazine. It was R.B. and that beautiful baby. Ten months. That baby is ten months old. Ten months. They look happy, healthy, and loved, child. They still together, I guess, child. They still together, and it looks like to me they're here in the United States because they were outside pictures. And honey, that outside didn't look like any outside we have ever seen in Ethiopia. So, my investigators out there, y'all know who you are, whomever, let us know, is R.B. living in the United States, child, with that uh, cute baby. So, in a span of three years, him and his first wife, that didn't last long. Now, we know that first wife and him got a baby. And, honey, she took that baby and she bounced. He don't even have any contact with that child. Y'all, I think B cheated, y'all. He cheated. She didn't like the life. She didn't like Ethiopia. And so, she bounced. Honey, them sisters may have something to do with the child. I would love to hear her story. I would love to hear her story, but YouTube out here recommending that video, that wedding video. Y'all shady? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about R&B. It's time for them parents to leave the dad. He already gone. He had to get back to work. He tired of Ethiopia, child. The mom is on her way home, child. And she, of course, says, listen, I really don't want my grandchild you know, living here in Ethiopia, it's the distance, and it just don't seem right that you will raise your child here. And so, R said, listen, I made a decision, and my decision was to be with B and to move to Ethiopia. It is what it is. And so the mom's like, y'all ain't even got good communication yourself, okay? Y'all's relationships seem a little shaky. And then, when 
family met up with his family, they bullied you into baptizing that baby. Okay, it was bully. It was three on one. Now, mama, aw, oh. mama, aw. Oh. As we see, Ariel can take care of herself, child. Okay. She chose to baptize that baby, all right? B asked her to do it, and she said yes. That's that on that. She could have said no. She could have said no, but she did. So the baby will be baptized, but Mama All, of course, has her, you know, reservations about this relationship and being over in Ethiopia, you know, finances, it just don't seem quite right. But all says, listen, I'm here for B. We're going to make this work or try to make it work, and that's that on that. So, it's time for this baptizing child. Honey, it seems like a lot go into this. Honey, we got all of the holy men, okay? And they all in their traditional garbs, and they are ready for this baby to get baptized. Honey, this is a ceremony, let me tell you. So, of course, we have the um, baby getting baptized. And honey, Abby was not feeling it. Oh, Abby. Abby was not feeling it. Honey, he was squalling, child, when that water hit his head. <laughs> he was like, Jesus, is this you? Is this what it feels like? <laughs> so anyway, it was real nice. Of course, you know, R, she had no idea what was going on. So... You know, but it was really, really, you know, nice. They put a little oil on them. And, honey, it's time for the reception, child. Honey, like they had a good old time. They had some food. And then you laid your baby in, um, in Jiro. Is that how you say it? It's like a, some type of bread. It means good wishes or good fortune, whatever, child. And you can eat it after you get the baby up from the baby sandwich. So, the baby baptized, y'all. The baby is baptized. Let's move on, child. All right, let's talk about June and Devin, all right? It's time for split ends and that daddy to come visit their apartment. And here's Devin. Devin said, our apartment nasty. I don't want my mom to see the apartment look like this because, see, she already don't like you, okay? We got to make a good impression. We got to clean the apartment. The apartment nasty. Girl, why, why is the apartment nasty? Okay, you should have been clean that apartment, not because your mama was coming over, because you should have a clean apartment. And furthermore, you don't work. Get it together, Devin. And it didn't look that bad. It just seemed like it just need to be picked up a little bit and get a little swiffer, hit the hot spots. Devin, you're there all day. If you weren't too busy going to June's job, you'll have one. You got time to lean, you got time to clean. So split ends come over, her and that daddy, and they're talking. And so June says, listen, I got to leave, okay? I got to go over to my parents, and we got to get this, you know, surprise together. Now, in Korean tradition, before somebody gets married, they give them a home box. And they have all these goodies inside of the box. And it's supposed to give, you know, good wishes, well wishes, fortune. You know, everybody, you know, get along, come along. Now, Devin has to hide. She can't be a part of this right now. So it's just for the parents of the bride, child. Let me tell you something. I'm here for it. I will be all over this box. You hear me? I will have been like a child at Christmas time. I will have tore that box up. I will have been like, what's this? What's that? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, my God, I love it. I would have loved every minute of it. So we have um, uh, June and his two friends showing up at the place, and they got some um, meat skin mask on, child. So they showing up there, and they're saying, um, I don't know what they were saying something as they were entering the apartment. And so the dad, when dad was in, <laughs> honey, that dad said, I'm loving this child. The dad said, this is great. I mean, he was really, really into it. And split ends, she was down for it too. She says, this is so sweet. I mean, she was down. They were very, 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 very respectful. And they seemed like they were willing to, you know, get to know this culture and what this box mean and what was inside the box. So I really liked that part. It was really nice. All right, and honey, then after that, after the little ceremony, honey, we had June. 
Honey, he was eating that dry squid, child. <laughs> Devin said, it stinks, honey. June said, honey, he ain't nothing to it but to do it, child. So later on, we have Devin and her mom. And of course, Devin wants her mom's approval. She wants her mom to know that they are doing well for themselves, that they're getting along, that June is really, really, really trying and he's doing great and they're doing great and split in said you know what i think y'all are doing just fine and she approves of um the marriage i still think she should apologize to um june for how she acted okay where's that apology at hmm so anyway devin is trying on her wedding dress and she looks lovely in it she looks lovely in her dress. They also talked about Devin's miscarriage. And um, so, you know, Split Ends was upset because she wished that she was there, you know, for Devin. Because Devin was going through a traumatic thing. And she, as a mother, you know, of course you want to be there for your daughter during, of course, you know, a, a traumatic thing like a miscarriage. So, you know, she feels bad about that. But, hey... Devin and June are doing just fine. We got the wedding next week, child. Let's move on. This video ain't gonna be long, y'all. I'm not gonna keep y'all. I show sure enough thanks. So we got Yazan and Brittany. We still gonna go through this. Brittany's still unsure. Yazan is willing to risk it all, child, for Brittany. But she still don't get it. Okay. So, it is Yazan, Brittany, and her friend Angela. And they are meeting up at a little cafe, coffee shop, whatever. And Yazan has asked a translator to meet them because, of course, Yazan has broken English. Honey, he has tried. He has tried to communicate, communicate, communicate. But, child, he just can't do it. Brittany's head is too hard. So, basically, he said, listen, I love you. This is what Yazan said. I love you, okay? I want you to trust me and I want to trust you. I want you to realize what I've sacrificed to be with you. I want you to realize the reason why I've been cutting the shine a little bit. It's because I have went through hell and back to be with you. I am risking a lot, a lot, okay? A lot has been coming at me. This is why I want us to get married. Translator is telling Brittany y'all this. This is Brittany. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more time. Shut up, Brittany. I'm going to need to think about some things. Shut up, Brittany. It's moving a little too fast. Shut up, Brittany. I just, Brittany, go run into a wall. Brittany, go run off of the side of the freeway. Brittany, twist. An ankle. That's what I'm going to need for you to do. It ain't that hard to put two and two together. You don't want to marry Yazan. You want to go out there and do whatever you want to do. You don't want to marry that boy. He even told you that you don't even have to convert. He's going to tell his parents that he is going to marry you and you're going to stay Christian. He's willing to be
have a relationship with your family. I want you to have a relationship with your family. Okay? That's what I want. But I just want all of us to have a relationship together. Well, girl, that ain't going to happen. You know what they want. They want you to become Muslim. That's their tradition. That's their culture. This is not new, Brittany. This is nothing new. Why should they change? Why should they change what they know because of you? Because of you. You coming into this. They ain't going into this. You are. This is who you chose to love and who you want to, I thought, marry. So she meets up with the brother, with the translator. Bottom line is, the brother broke it off real quick. He says, Yazan is in danger. Ever since he met up with you, honey, it's been a hot mess. Okay? He has went against our culture, our traditions for you. For the way you live, not the way we live. He's choosing the way you live. And that has made family members pissed off. And honey, threats have been made. My father said he will him. K-I-L-L. You get it? This is Brittany. <laughs> And then cutie, um, Yazan's brother, that cutie, honey, he go over there trying to show her some comfort. Did y'all see him wiping away her tears? Did y'all see her pushing her phone number into his pocket? <laughs> Brittany, you ain't slick. Brittany was like, oh my God, I'm so sick. Here's my number. <laughs> Three, four, eight, six, 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 six. That's my number. Oh, I don't want that to happen to you, son. <laughs> For the slow ones in the back. She didn't give the cutie brother a number. I just said that, y'all. So the brother, honey, he was looking at Brittany like, this is who my brother loved. The cutie brother looking at Brittany like, my brother loved this. Okay, well, whatever. You already know now. He get with you, he is going to D.I.E. That's all I'm saying. We're not playing about this. I don't know how many times we need to tell you, Brittany, go home. Brittany, go home. Just go home, Brittany. Now, you know the severity of this. Now that you know the severity of this, what you going to do, girl? What you going to do, child? Let's move on. Y'all, I'm knocking this out. I ain't got time on this. All right, y'all. Last and least, honey. Let's talk about Jenny and Cement. So last week, we see Jenny. Crying, not flying, honey. She was having a full-blown fit, wasn't she? Honey, she was too dumb. Now, we have Cement's brother there and his wife. Okay, and they let it be known that they are having a ring ceremony tomorrow. They engage, child. And of course, honey, Sumit's family ain't with it. They are not with it. And so the sister-in-law and brother is shocked. They was like, Lord, have mercy. Okay, y'all do what you have to do. But you cannot go into this without telling your family. Okay, we know that the family don't like Jiggle Net Jenny. We know this. But you know that if you get married to this woman or engaged to this woman without letting your family know, child, honey, it's going to be worse, honey. All hell is going to freeze over. You better do it right. You better do it right. Okay? If you're going to do it, do it right. So, of course, Jenny, okay, she was like, I love him. All right? I love him. All right? Why should we keep doing, you know, uh, something that we know that the parents aren't going to agree with. So anyway, later on, we have Jenny. Jenny in the kitchen, y'all. She is cooking kier. Is that how you call it? Kier, is that is that what it's called, y'all? It's like a, a rice pudding, child. Mm -hmm. It's like an Indian version of rice pudding. I ain't never had it, but honey, I heard it was delicious. And I love me some rice pudding, child. So anyway... So, the engagement has been called off because Smith wants to talk to, um, 
you know, his parents. And he wants Jeannie there. And he wants to, you know, tell his parents that he loves Jeannie. They get married. And let's just see what happens. Well, child, when I tell you the parents came over. You can cut that room, the, the, the tension, with a knife, honey. Honey, they haven't even started talking. It was hot as bacon grease up in there, honey. Ooh, Lord, honey, sweat. Okay, sweat. And so Cement says, we get married. Now, see, Jeannie tried to make small talk and say, you look beautiful. Honey, that mama said, thank you. I know I'm beautiful. I look better than you. <laughs> so Samit just says, listen, we getting married. We getting married. We getting engaged. What y'all think about that? And honey, they let it be known over my dead body. No, 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 no. <laughs> honey, they was furious. Over my dead body. Absolutely not. You would not marry this woman. You just, you really want to embarrass us. We got family. We got neighbors laughing at us because you with this. No, 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 no. Over my dead body. So Submit, he's trying to explain himself. They're talking. And see, Jeannie, she can't understand what's being said. But honey, you ain't got to understand Jenny to know what that mama said. Just like Jenny said, she's seen that look before. Your dad right, you done seen that look before. And honey, that look is anger. That look is hate. And that look is, if I had something in my hand, I would take you out, look. Jenny says that it's been eight years. Eight years since she had a conversation with that woman. Eight years. So they, this is an eight-year battle. The parents can't stand you, Jenny. Jenny, you and Submit's relationship started off with a lie. Submit catfishing. Jenny, you lied to them parents. You lied talking about you as a Facebook friend to Submit the whole time you were sleeping with him. And you expect them parents to just forget and forgive. Honey, they're not. You befriended that woman. You befriended Submit's mama just to get close to Submit. You lost your mind, Jenny. You too old for these games. And speaking of old, let's get to that daddy, honey. That daddy full-blown disrespected the heck out of Jenny. He called her 200 years old. He told Samit, he said, this is all you can get. You can't get no better than this. You can't get no better than this bag of bone, this osteoporosis woman. This woman is 150 years old. My family, my friends laughing at us. How you going to walk down the street hand in hand with this? Honey, didn't that daddy break it down? Honey, Jenny, they disrespected you, honey. Honey, they said everything that you busted, that you're old, you can't have no children, your coochie dried up. They said that you got a jiggle neck. <laughs> they, they didn't. They didn't, y'all. I'm sorry, Jenny. I, I know I call you jiggle neck, Jenny. I just try to be funny. But, honey, you got an ass whooping last night, honey. They ripped you to shreds. <laughs> and so, Cement said... Who are you to tell me how I'm going to love somebody? Who are you to tell me who to love? So that mama said, I will. I'm your mother. This is what I do. You listen to me. So me say, I ain't listening to you. I love Jenny. Okay? I want to be with Jenny. And so here is the mom. Over my dead body. How many times I got to say this? We don't like her. So submit. He knocks something off of the table. He gets in front of her and he is begging like he sweat, child. Begging. The mama doesn't start crying. She was startled. The dad didn't know what to do, child. But we know what Jeannie did, honey. Jeannie got up and she took her feet to the back of that room. She says, I need to go back to the United States. <laughs> I can't do this to my, I can't do this to the family. You've been doing it to them for eight years. You should have been over the United States. But you willing to risk it all. You took out your social security. But you don't work for the 
move over and over there with Smith. And then you talking about you need go home, Jenny. You need to take a page with Tim. Go home. Jenny, go home. Uh, Brittany, go home. All go home. All y'all go home. And stay home. Stay off of Facebook. That's what you do. Stupids. Grown women acting like this. Submit on his hands and knees beg. That's it, y'all. Short and sweet, right? Mm -hmm. That's how we gonna do it today, okay? It wasn't much of nothing happened last night, child. We got one more episode to go. And y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Leave your comments below for my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends,